Yes, uh, again, uh, welcome uh, uh, to you. Good morning. So, as we mentioned today, inshallah, we need to complete unit three. But before we start, let me remind you what did you study yesterday? Uh, we take uh, the grammar mm -hmm. uh, and vocabulary. Yes. Yes. Vocabulary about what? Uh, the, the vocabulary about um, the common verbs. Common verbs. Yes, you the common verbs to write about your uh, uh, city life or right. the life in your city or about yourself, right? And I requested right. you to write a paragraph about this. Did you write it? Yes, I will send it today. Yes, great. You can send it to my uh, uh, WhatsApp or my email address. Anyway, uh, choose the, okay. the best one for you. Okay. Also, yes, so today, inshallah, we need to complete uh, grammar unit three. Yesterday, we started the grammar focus one. Here, positive and the negative. Like, I live in a flat. I don't live in a house. I go to school by car. I don't go to school by taxi, for example, and so on. Right? Right. Any, any questions about this? No. Okay, great. So, again, this is the grammar focus too. The same lesson, but we should focus on questions. How to structure okay. simple questions. Like... Uh, do you live in a flat? Do you have a new phone? Do you live in a city? Do you like uh, pizza, for example, and so on. So we we'll call them yes or no questions. Yes or no questions, why? Like for example, if I ask you, do you live in a city? Can you answer please? Uh, what? Do you live in a big city? Yes. I do? Yes, I do. Uh. Or you can say, yes, I live in a big city. All right? So here, yeah. male is a student in Delphin, Ireland. Listen to him <clears throat> talking to another student. Take the questions you hear. Again, <clears throat> you should listen carefully, Jude. And okay. take the question you hear. As you see, you have questions one to ten, but no need to take all of them. Just take okay. <clears throat> what you hear. Ready to listen? Yes. Okay, let's listen. Listening? No. No listening? No. Now listening? No. Again, let me stop sharing and play it again. What about you? Listening? I live with my family yes. too, but okay. not in the town center. Yes, from my, again, listen again. Do you live with your family or friends? I live with my family. We live in a flat in the town center. What about you? I live with my family too, but not in the town center. I get up early and go to university by bus. Do you get up early? No, I don't. I get up at 9 o'clock or sometimes 10. And do you have breakfast at home? Yes, I do. I have a cup of coffee and some bread. And you? I don't have breakfast. I have a big lunch instead. In a cafe, usually. Do you have lunch in a cafe? Yes, I do. I have lunch in this cafe, 
but just a small lunch, like a sandwich or something. I have lunch early, usually at about 12.30. What about in the evening? Do you have dinner early? I have dinner at different times, sometimes at home and sometimes I go out. And do you go to bed early? No, I don't. I go to bed about 12 o'clock or sometimes 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. I study a lot in the evening and I go out a lot too. Yes, how many questions did you check? Um, five. Only five? Yes. Can you read them, please? Okay. Uh, question number three. Do you get up early? No, mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, four. Do you have breakfast at home? Yes. Uh, question number seven. Do you have a lunch in a cafe? Yeah. Yes. Uh, a, do you have dinner early sometimes? 10, do you, do you go to bed early? No. Yes, great. You missed only one question. So this time, please listen again to double check the questions and please focus on nails answers. Okay. okay. Yes, listen okay. again. After listening, I'll ask you the same questions and please give me some more details about yourself. Listen again. Oh. Unit 3, Recording 2. Do you live with your family or friends? I live with my family. We live in a flat in the town centre. What about you? I live with my family too, but not in the town centre. I get up early and go to university by bus. Do you get up early? No, I don't. I get up at 9 o'clock or sometimes 10. And do you have breakfast at home? Yes, I do. I have a cup of coffee and some bread. And you? I don't have breakfast. I have a big lunch instead. In a cafe, usually. Do you have lunch in a cafe? Yes, I do. I have lunch in this cafe, but just a small lunch, like a sandwich or something. I have lunch early, usually at about 12.30. What about in the evening? Do you have dinner early? I have dinner at different times, sometimes at home and sometimes I go out. And do you go to bed early? No, I don't. I go to bed about 12 o'clock or sometimes 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. I study a lot in the evening and I go out a lot too. <laughs> right? Okay. Right. So now let me ask you the same questions, Jude. And you can answer, give me any relative or rela uh, relevant uh, answers, right? Do you live with your family or your friends? I live with my family. Do you get up early? Yes, I do. Okay, this is a good answer, but you can add more details. <clears throat> yes, I do. I usually get up at uh, 7 o'clock, especially at uh, 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 or on weekdays. Okay, so try to, to add more details if you can. Type, do you have breakfast at home? Yes, I have a breakfast at home. Yes, please don't say a breakfast, say breakfast. Why? Because breakfast is uncountable. I can't say a breakfast, I can't say a break, uh, a lunch, a dinner, no. Have breakfast, have dinner, have lunch, without that. So, again, okay. please, do you have breakfast at home? Yes, I have breakfast at home. Right. Um, do you have lunch in a cafe? No, I don't. I don't have lunch in cafe. 
Do you have dinner early? Yes, I do. I have dinner early. Do you go to bed early? Yes, I do. I go to bed early. Yes, very good. So this is the yes or no question. So let's come to practice. 1A, what should we do here? Complete the questions and the answers. Then I play the audio to check your answers. So now, Jude, can you please okay. start? I'll give you one minute. Try to write the missing words. You live in a house. How to answer okay. this? Only number one. Then I'll give you time to do it. So we should start with... Uh, do you live in a house? No, I? Yes. No, no I, I don't. don't. I live in a flat and so on. Can you please complete? Okay. Do you go to English classes? Yes, yes please take I your time. Do. Yes, take, take, no problem. Take your time. Once you finish, let me know, please. Okay. I'm done. Now listen, please, and check your answers. Okay. Three. Recording three. One. Listening. Do you live in a house? No, I don't. I live in a flat. Two. Do you go to English classes? Yes, I do. I study very hard. Three. Do you go out a lot in the evening? Yes, I do. I have dinner in restaurants a lot. Four. Do you have a shower in the evening? No, I don't. I have a shower in the morning. Five. Do you work in an office? No, I don't. I work in a hospital. Six. Do you get up early? No, I don't. I get up at about 8.30 a.m. Okay, Jude. The same answers? Yes. Great. So, now this is the end of Grammar Focus 2. Now let's start with okay. uh, uh, yes for SPR one four two. You can do this as homework, but please let me have a look before we start a new lesson. Go to one four two and double check, please. And let me know if you have any difficult questions. This is study okay. two, and here the practice, practice two. Okay. Just complete Hi. the question and write the answer. And here too, the same. But here we have a very, very important question. Yeah, 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 Jude. Let's do number okay. two together. When we use do and when we use are, and when we use have and when we use haven't, for example. Number one, yes, because this is maybe difficult for you. Let's do it together. Only for the first four, uh, three examples. Okay. Do you live in a flat? No, I don't. No, I don't. Why, why the answer here? Do why can you why do you, can you say are you live in a flat? No, I can't. Why? Uh, why? Because. R is for the mm -hmm. uh, Let me let me explain it for you. 
if you have main verb in the sentence or the question, don't use are, but use do or does. Here the main verb live. So do you live in a flat? Do you work in an office? But let's do number two together, number one together. Mar or Marek and Monica married. Can you see here any verbs? No, then we will use R. Allah aliki. Well done. So here no main verbs. In this case, use R. So R. R. Uh, they married. How to answer this? No, they aren't. Excellent. They know they aren't. Here I can't say no, they don't. Why? Because the question using are, so you should answer using are. Type. What about two? Um. Your parents go out a lot. Can you see here any main verbs? Yes. Where is it? Go. Go out. Exactly. Right. So in this case, what should you write in the question? Do. Do. Perfect. So the same here, right? Do. Do your parents go out a lot? Yes, they? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. This is the last question together. Then you can complete. You got okay. a new computer. Do you got a new computer? Because got. But here, got. When you have got in the question, use have or no. has. Don't use do or are. So in case if you have got, in the question or the answer, please don't use don't, don't use are, but use have. Have you got? Have you got? Okay. Have you got a new computer? No, I? No, I haven't. Exactly. No, I haven't. Is it clear now when we use do? Yes. When we use yes. are? When we use have? Clear? Yes. I, I give you half a minute to complete the remaining three questions. Go ahead. Okay. Do it yourself, please. Okay. I'm done. Yes, go ahead. The first one, I'm not sure, but I think, have you have lunch in a cafe at the weekend? Yes, I have. The boy, have you have? Here, the main um, verb have. So, in this way, you will do. So, do you have lunch? Have here means eat. Okay, so do you have lunch in a cafe at the weekend? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Type next five. Um, do you work in the city? Yes. Do you work? No, yeah. I don't. No, I don't. What about six? The last one. Um. Are they from perfect. Italy? No, they aren't. No, they aren't. That's it. Okay, perfect. So now let's start uh, the new lesson here telling the time. Okay. Please go to page 
26 yeah 26 by the way Jude what time is that now um, what, what time is it now mm -hmm. 10 uh, 54 10 54 that's right great can you tell me the same time in a different way um just one minute. Yeah, take your time. Uh mm -hmm. eleven past okay five. 11 past 5. Okay. Yes. So, this, you are partly right. The first answer, of course, you are right. It's 10.55. This is correct. This is the American way. But the second way, 11 past 5 means what? Means 11 و 5. Like, I was 11 إلا 5. So, in this way, right. 5, 5 to 11. 5 to 11. So to read the time, you have two ways. You have two ways. The American way, okay? The American way and the British way. The American way, just read the numbers as you did. Read numbers only without any change. But UK, you need to start with number one, here, you should try three words. Number one, start with minutes. The number of minutes. Then write past or two. Then write hour. For example, 10.55. This is the, bread, the American way. How to say it if you were in the UK and someone asked you what is the time. They will tell you 10.55. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. This is the American way. But we need to do the same meaning in the British way. So, how many minutes to be 11? Five. But 11. Um, 11 to 5. 11 to 5. Is it clear? Yes. Right. Another one. If you have 15 minutes, don't say 15. Say quarter. Quarter past. I've started in um, the 115. 115. How to read it? In the British way. Right. How to read it? Uh, 115 quarter. Yes, quarter past. Huh? One. Quarter past. Now, when I call it 145. In this way, now we have 45. Say quarter. Two إلا. الفرق الوحيد fifteen هقول quarter past وربع. the forty five quarter two إلا ربع. how to say it one forty five in the British way. one forty five. yes. quarter one. no quarter two. no no. Huh. yes quarter two. Five? No. بقول واحدة خمسة وأربعين. يعني باقي ربع ساعة وده الرقم ده يتحول إلى كام؟ آه ربع ساعة. Two بالضبط two. أي يصير اثنين يعني. هتصير الساعة اثنين. لذلك أقول quarter two two. Quarter two two يعني اثنين إلا ربع. Quarter two two. Okay. If you have thirty minutes. 
طيب لو عندنا 30 minutes أو الهاف طيب فور إكزامبل واحدة ونص هاو تو ريد إت يعني وين 30 هاو تو سي إت إن ذا بريتش Half past two. Half past one. Half past one. One hour. Half past one. Okay. Is it clear now? Yes. Okay. Could you please match the the pictures to the right reading? Okay. Five o'clock. Which one? Five o'clock. Which picture? Uh, five o'clock B. Five o'clock B. Yes, you are right. Type two, two fifteen. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Um, A. A, great. One thirty. One thirty. F. F, absent. Seven forty-five. Seven forty-five. E. Yes, you are right. E. Ten twenty. Ten twenty. Ten twenty. C. Excellent. C. The last one. A. Fifty-five. D. D. Yes, that's it. This is the British. It's uh, the American way. This is the the American way. We need to read the same blocks at the same time, but in the British way. How to say it? Okay. Half past one. Match times with the times in the box. Okay. Half past okay. one. Which one? Half past F. one. The here in the UK, the UK, British way. Half past one. Hey, yeah, yeah. When I'm old, what? One thirty. Uh, Clear. Type. Uh, Clear. Five to nine. Five to nine. Five to nine. Um, five to e? nine. Five, no, no, let's leave it here. Five to nine. Five to nine. Eight fifty-five. Eight fifty-five. Right. يعني تسعة إلى خمسة. ما هدي eight fifty-five. يعني أقول five to ten. Five. اتفقنا نقول الفاضل خمس دقايق. يبرون five to ten. Sorry, five to nine. Sorry, five to nine. Okay, so this is number six. Mm -hmm. Type twenty past ten. Ten twenty. Ten twenty. Yes, five. Great. Quarter past two. Quarter. Um. Past two. Eight fifty-five. No. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Oh, yes, two fifteen. Right. Quarter to eight. Quarter to eight. Yes. Eight fifty-five. Seven forty-five. Seven forty-five. Four. Quarter to eight. Yeah, the seventh. خمسة وأربعين دقيقة فاضل هي ربع ساعة وتصير ثمانية طيب now uh, uh, we have another practice here please Jude I give you one minute or two minutes what you need to do right how to read yes how to read the time in two different ways here 9.55 okay. 9.55 this is the American way how to write it in the British way? Five to ten. عشرة إلى خمسة. Can you complete, please? Seven fifteen. 
20 past Excellent. 9. 22 9. 20 uh, okay. 2 9. 22 9. Yeah, 22 9. Type 4. Um, quarter to quarter to 7. Uh, not yes, yes, you are right, you are right. Water to seven, yes, perfect. Water to seven. Type five, twelve oh five. Five past five, twelve. So five past twelve. Are you with me? Yes. The five. Let me add it. The five past twelve. Type two twenty. <clears throat> two twenty. Twenty past two. Yes, twenty. Last two. The last one. Four. Four o'clock. So let's listen and double check, please. Three. Recording five. Listening. Example. Yes. Okay. What's the time? It's 9.55. It's five to ten. Mm -hmm. One. What's the time? It's 7.15. It's quarter past seven. Two. What's the time? It's 9.30. It's half past nine. Three. What's the time? It's 8.40. It's 20 to nine. Four. What's the time? It's 6.45. It's quarter to seven. Five. What's the time? It's 12.05. It's five past twelve. Six. What's the time? It's 2.20. It's twenty past two. Seven. What's the time? It's four o'clock. Okay. Clear, Jude? Okay. Is it clear now yeah. how to read the time into different ways, the American way and the British way? Yes. So, 
um, again, let me ask you some questions here about uh, what okay. what's the time as you see in Berlin? What's the time? Uh, it's six. It's six o'clock in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Where? In Istanbul, here, in the second picture. Um, ten past ten. Yes. Paris. Um, Paris. Yes, fifteen forty. Fifteen forty. Here, I am. Let's say three, three forty. Three forty. Um, quarter to four. Not quarter. Twenty. Be twenty to four. Twenty to four. Yeah, be twenty. Yeah, four. Twenty to four. Yeah, four. Twenty to four. Twenty to four. The next okay. one, 13, 45. 13 means 1. 145. What time is it? Um, quarter to? Quarter to uh, 2. Quarter to quarter 2. Quarter to 2. Perfect. The la here the next one, twenty one fifty five. Yeah, means nine fifty five. Nine fifty five. Nine fifty five. Why quarter? Past. Why quarter here? Because because five minutes. So five minutes. Say five. But five to ten. Ashra illa khamsa. Five to ten. Five here, the number of minutes, five to ten. Bad five uh -huh. minutes, this number would be ten. Five to ten. The next one, what time is it? Um, six fifty, then it's mm -hmm. fifty, fifty or six. No, this six to fifteen. Mm -hmm. So if you have fifteen, what should you say? Quarter past. So quarter yes, past. Huh? Quarter past six. Right. Quarter past six, right? Right. And the last one, seven thirty. Half past seven. Excellent. So now, please, uh, Jude, leave the meeting and join again, please. We need to complete the next lesson. Okay, okay join again, please. Thank you.